Good morning, dear first graders. I think I'm being gotten by an octopus. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Good morning, first grade, are you here? Standing up and saying, yes, Mr. Coulter, we are here. Ready for the morning verse? Good. The sun with loving light makes bright for me each day. The heart with sacred power gives strength unto my limbs. In sunlight shining clear, I am reverent. The strength of humankind has so graciously been planted in my soul that I with all my might may love to work and learn. Toward us comes light and strength. From us rise love and thanks. Morning has come, night is away. Rise with the sun and welcome the day. Hope you're singing these with me. No fun just to listen to songs. It's much more fun to sing them, don't you think? Here we go. <clears throat> Ready? Oh, I like to rise when the sun she rises early in the morning. I like to hear the small birds singing merrily upon their way. Hooray for the life of a Kona kid tumbling in the sunlit waves. Yes. Um, there was an old lady who swallowed a fly. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. I guess she'll die. What's next? There was an old lady who swallowed a spider that wiggled and jiggled and wriggled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. I guess she'll die. There was an old lady who swallowed a bird. How absurd to swallow a bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. I guess she'll die. There was an old lady who swallowed a, what catches birds? Cat. Imagine that. She swallowed a cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider that wiggled and jiggled and wriggled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. I guess she'll die. There was an old lady, what's next, who swallowed a dog. What a hog to swallow a dog. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. I guess she'll die. I forgot, wiggle, jiggle, wiggle, blah, blah. What's next? There was an old lady who swallowed a cow. I don't know how she swallowed a cow. She swallowed the cow to catch the dog. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider that wriggled and jiggled and wiggled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. I guess she'll die. There was an old lady who swallowed a horse. She's dead, of course. All right, that's that for the songs this morning. Let's, um, oh, I wanted to uh, do one more thing before we invite Auntie Jackie in, and that is um, a little tongue twistery stuff. I have the red leather, yellow leather. Is a very, very tricky one for some of us because ers and ols and y, all those letters can be challenging for some. So, red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. You can say it fast, it's very tricky. Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow. All right. 
And then the other thing that I wanted to give you is a little alliteration for the letter O. And that is from a Dr. Seuss book, uh, the alphabet book. It's the ABC book, I think it's called, by Dr. Seuss. And the O page is kind of funny. O is very useful. You use it when you say, um, Oscar's only ostrich oiled an orange owl today. Oscar's only ostrich oiled an orange owl today. All of those letters, Oscar, like octopus, only, saying its own name, only. Ostrich, uh, uh, ostrich, that's a big giant bird that doesn't fly, it only runs super fast. Oscar's only ostrich, all O sounds, oiled, again saying its own name, oiled. O -o 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 oiled and orange owl ah, 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 like octopus owl today Oscar's only ostrich oiled it's an orange owl I think there's six of them ah, Oscar's O your, your mouth makes an O for most of those two either a big one ostrich or a small one, oiled, Oscar's only ostrich, <laughs> ostrich, oiled an orange owl today. <laughs> so there's a lot of oh, a lot of oh, wow, oh, wow. Can you say oh, wow, wow, wow? <laughs> Lots of O sounds. We'll put the O up today and uh, look at our things that start with O. But first, Auntie Jackie. I hear her knocking. She's knocking on my phone here. <laughs> knock, knock, knock. Oh, she's knocking on the door. Let's see, why is the volume not working? Let's see, Jackie, are you muted or are you good? Let's try again. I'm here, good okay. morning. Oh, there she is, okay, good. All right, I'll set this. Good morning, dear Auntie Jackie. So good to see you, as always. I miss seeing you in person. It's funny that I have you in this little contraption here known as a telephone. Okay, let's set this up so I can see you properly. Go ahead, Auntie Jackie. It's so funny, you guys, isn't it? It's so funny everything in between. Like, funny, peculiar. Today I wanted to read you a story because yesterday I was telling you something and the name of our story is Children of the Earth. And I said that to you. I said that you are children of the Aina and that you have certain knowledge. So I'm going to read you this book and if it gets to be a little long, I'll save the rest for tomorrow. Okay. So the name of the book again is Children of the Earth and this is by someone named Amy Churba. The illustrations are by Bob Paltrow. I'm going to open this page and I hope you can see it. It says, children, children of the forest, what can you hear? We hear the animals talk. Children, children of the forest, what do you see? We see green trees swaying in the breeze. Children, children of the forest, what do you feel? We feel the earth beneath our feet. Children, children of the garden, what do you hear? We hear the bees buzzing. Children, children of the garden, what do you see? We see life force flowing. Children, children, what do you feel? 
children, children of the garden, what do you feel? We feel the garden. We feel the green plants growing. Children, children of the mountain, what do you hear? We hear the whisper of the wind. Children, children of the mountain, what do you see? We see the snow capped peaks. Snow capped peaks. Children, children of the mountain, what do you feel? We feel the snowflakes on our cheeks. Children, children of the sea, what do you hear? We hear the dolphins call. Children, children of the sea, what do you see? We see the sun on the sea. Children, children of the sea, what do you feel? We feel the breeze that moves with ease. I've got a couple more pages. I'm going to finish. Children, children of the sky, what do you hear? We hear the sound of the bird's wings. Children, children of the sky, what do you see? We see white clouds way up high. Children, children of the sky, what do you feel? We feel the sunshine. Children, children of stars, what do you hear? We hear flashes of light in the night. Children, children of the stars, what do you see? We see the light taking flight. Children, children of the stars, what do you feel? Feel the stardust all around. Children, children of the earth, what do you feel? We feel happy to be here. The end. I really, really enjoyed reading that to you, and I really enjoyed the pictures. I feel like I could be in every picture here. I could, in Hawaii, I can be in the forest. I can be in the garden. I can be at the ocean. I can be at the mountains. I could be in the sky. I can look at the stars. And I can feel my earth. I can feel our earth. So I invite you to spend a little time today doing any of those things. You can do it outside or you can do it in your mind. You can sit outside and look at the sky and you can wander around the beach or even the plants or the bushes that are in the house if you have house plants. Thank you for spending that time with me, you guys. And I really appreciate being here with you as your teacher. Aloha. Mahalo. Aloha, Auntie Jackie. Thank you again for another fun lesson, heart-filled, love-filled lesson. We will see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Right, bye. <laughs> okay. I love it. It's such a funny thing to have Auntie Jackie come in on, the, on a little Zoom call on the phone. I don't know why that makes that it just seems so funny to me. Okay, now the day and date. Back to the day and the date. You guys can see well enough over here. I'm gonna erase this. We'll have to do this later. That we had on the it family. Boy, we're just moving right along, learning all kinds of stuff. You guys learning all kinds of stuff on your own too. Think of all the different things you know how to do and learn. It's so crazy to me. Think about like. Just the stuff you've been learning here, but the things that you learn every day, like reading books about dinosaurs, for instance, like Xander, and um, just all the different things that we're learning. I know that um, Hope paints all the time, and um, <clears throat> I know that um, 
Joy does so many things with her family. I know there's people learning about horses <clears throat> and all different things, horseback riding and, and many other things that everyone is doing all the time. And going to the ocean and seeing yellow tangs in the water and uh, trigger fish and learning just from each other and from the world around us and the teachers and grown-ups all around us. And then we have our little school day too. So all the good things you can learn. It's just so many and we learn so much every day. I just can't even believe it. Anyway, speaking of learning stuff, I wonder if you know how to say the days of the week. It's not the most fun thing to learn, but it's one of the kind of important ones. Someone says, well, what's tomorrow going to be? You know, you're always asking, well, what time is it? When do we finish this? And when do we get to do that? And uh, when is my birthday? And when is Christmas? And, and when is, uh, you know, when is Halloween? Well, Halloween's coming right up, isn't it? Halloween, this is the 21st day. So we'll put that down. Is it I got that right? Okay, I'll do it that way. This is the 21st. This is Wednesday. This is usually the early release day of school, but that's the day that we have our meetings, the teachers have our meetings. When mess day, D-A-Y spells day, Wednesday, comma, October, O-C-T-O-B-E-R, October 21, 21st, st, S-T for st, 21st, I don't know, you can't see that too well, but I wrote it there, believe me. Another comma, 2020. Today is Wednesday, October 21st, 2020. Say it with me. Today is Wednesday, October 21st, 2020. If I say it in Spanish, it sounds like this. Hoy es miércoles 21, 21 or 21, 21 de octubre 2020. Now we can say it together. I'll say it one more time by myself. You can help me if you want. Hoy es miércoles 21 de octubre 2020. Okay, now you can try to say it with me. Hoy es Miércoles 21 de octubre 2020. All right. Days of the week in English. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. One more time. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So that's hard to remember, but if you just say it a lot of times, you will remember it. So say it in the car, <clears throat> say it before you go to bed maybe. Uh, maybe you want to say something else before you go to bed. Kind of like starting the day with the morning verse and ending the day with uh, some kind of little uh, evening verse of some sort. All right, so that was the, the days of the week in English. Miércoles, miércoles, jueves, viernes, uh, sábado, domingo, lunes, martes, with me, miércoles, jueves, viernes, sábado, domingo, lunes, martes, and back to miércoles. Months of the year, I'm only going to say those in English. October is the 10th month. I'm going to start in January, though, so we can get used to counting them up. Ready? With me. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. One more time. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. I draw out that first sound of the, of the word so that you can uh, get the clue ahead of time. I say January, February, March, April, May, <clears throat> June, July, August, September, October, November, 
December. There's 12 months. December's the last one. And that's the last day of December is the 31st, and that's New Year's Eve. And January 1st, the very next day, is the next first day of the new year when we switch from 2020 to 2021. Okay, enough of that. You can learn to get those straight eventually, but um, I want to go back over here to the number corner just for a minute. I know this is, well, for me, it's felt a little clunky, uh, meaning it's not the been the most fun to do because I mostly want you to do it. But anyway, we have, let's talk about this pattern for a second. Patterns are everywhere. So patterns are so everywhere. You can see patterns in a flower. You can see patterns in a bee's wings. You can see patterns um, the way that the, the way that the, the sky changes each night, the way the moon grows and shrinks from a crescent to a full moon. Halloween night's gonna be a full moon. And it was just this tiniest little crescent moon. And uh, I think recently the moon has been so small and the Milky Way was really uh, seeable in the sky. So see if that happens again tonight and see this band of what looks like kind of cloudiness up in the sky, but it's really bazillions of tiny, 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 tiny little stars. Well, far, far, far away stars, that is. And um, they look, it, you can see this whole band. It's called the Milky Way. And um, anyway, there's patterns everywhere. And this pattern right here that we see is we see apples three times. And then we see leaves three times. And then we see nuts four times. And we see squash four times. And then we saw apples five times. What do you think is next? Well, if you guess that we were going back to what do you think? Leaves. You'd be right. And we left off with, there were five leaves in the, uh, in the last one back there, the number six. The sixth day of October, there were five, actually there were five leaves in all three of those pictures. And I don't know if you noticed, there's four apples here. We talked about this yesterday. And now there's eight apples. So there's double the number of apples. So I'm guessing there might be 10 leaves here because there's double Five is 10, you know about that. Five and five is 10. Let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, only nine, interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine of them, hmm, interesting. From five to nine. Hmm. Well, with the apples, we did add four. So I was thinking it was going to be doubled because this is double, but with the apples, we added four. And if we had five leaves and we added four more, we'd say five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there would be nine if we added four. So maybe that, that was a different way of looking at that pattern. All right, so the 20th of October has nine leaves in it. That was yesterday. And... What do you think is going to happen on the 21st of October? Hmm, 21st of October, based on the fact that there were five up and then one in the basket the next time. Let's check. Oh, yes. One, two, I see, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in the air and one in the basket. So, I don't see my crayon. Eight plus one is nine. And tomorrow I will be teaching from home, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the next two. And, or maybe three. Three, I'm gonna do the next three because we'll have the weekend as well. So what would be your guess? We're gonna have nine leaves again. How many do you think are gonna be in the basket? Mm -hmm. Let's check. Two in the basket, so this would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Seven in the air plus two is nine altogether. And I should probably write that down for you as I have been in the past. Let's go back to the 20th. So on 10, 20, that's the 20th day of the 10th month, we had 
nine leaves. We had nine in the air and none in the basket. So nine plus zero equals nine. And on the next day, the 21st, I'm gonna stop writing this, it's too crowded up there. On the next day, we still had nine, but we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in the air and one in the basket. So I could also write eight plus one equals nine. Okay, they both make nine, of course. And then the next one is the 22nd, and we have nine, and we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in the air, and two in the basket. So over here I write seven plus two is nine, and I've run out of space again. But I really wanna do these last two. Here we have the next one, three in the basket. So I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six in the air, seven, eight, nine, nine all together, Three in the basket, one, two, three, four, five, six in the air, one, two, three in the basket. Six, seven, eight, nine. Why is six afraid of seven? Because seven, eight, nine. Ha ha, it's a good joke. Um, so in this case, I would write six plus three is nine. I will take you back to the blackboard. Six plus three is nine. Let's put that right over here. We had, oh, we had nine at the top. We had six and three. And then over here we can write six plus three is nine. And then we have this last one. How many do you think are going to be in the basket this time? There were three last time, two the time before that, and one the time before that, and none the time before that. So we went from none in the basket to one in the basket, two in the basket the next time, three in the basket, and guess what? This one is going to have four in the basket. So I see nine all together still. One, two, three, four, five in the air, and one, two, three, four in the basket. Let's count again. One, two, three, four, five six, seven, eight, nine of them. So <clears throat> we had nine leaves in the basket. We had one, two, three, four, five in the air, and four in the basket. So we write uh, five plus four equals all right, that's going to be it for now. And then tomorrow, or Monday when I come back uh, into the classroom, we will do the rest of them. So let's see what's next on the docket, next on the schedule. Oh, I was going to see if I could get someone to do uh, Mary Mac with me, but I, I did forget one thing. Go back over here, the number corner. This is the 34th day of school, and I know I have not been very good at keeping up with the counting of the days in school. And here I have a little thing to share with you. The days in school thing here. And let's see if I can get something a little higher up so that you can see that a little bit better. There we go. Days in school. Days in school. So we're going to catch up to what we had been doing. We had been making marks. We've been collecting popsicle sticks, showing the groups of 10. And we had one day of school, two days of school, three days of school, fourth day of school, fifth day of school. And I'm going to change colors. And there's our little group of five. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
5, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 5, 10, 15, 20. Or 10, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay, now we're getting close to where we are. This must have been Friday. 31, 32, 33, 30. So we can count this so many different ways. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And then we switch to counting by ones. 31, 32, 33, 34. All right, well now we're finally caught up. Tomorrow I'll be at home, so I'll have to take this, maybe I'll just take this little sheet home with me. And then I'll, because it's small enough, isn't it? Okay, good. Now I'll finish that. <laughs> Walking around the classroom. The next thing I did want to do was play Miss Mary Mac, but I don't think there's anybody around to play with me. Let me just check real fast. I may as well take you with me. I may as well take you with me. All right, so this is the classroom, as you know. That's the front of the classroom where you always see me. And then we got the side, and then there's the back of the classroom. Still kind of messy, not really set up for kids yet. And there's the front door that we always walk in and that faces out toward the Pico. If you remember, you've all been here and seen out the window to the Pico. Mm -hmm. Gardens over there. And then this little door back here, though, leads to the kitchen. And the kitchen is a place where some of the teachers make a little bit of food. It's kind of dark in here right now. And that's the second grade classroom, and there's nobody here to help me play Miss Mary Mac. Oh well, we will just pretend and we will play together and you can be my partner out in TV land. <laughs> okay, get ready. Face the screen, ready? Miss, cross away, cross all the way across. So Miss, this would be your right hand. Mary, Mac, 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 all dressed in black, left hand, right hand, black, left hand, black, with silver buttons, 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 say it with me, all down her back, right hand, back, left hand, back, she asked her mother, 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 for fifth, cents, cents, cents to see the elephants, elephants, elephants jump over the fence, 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 say it with me, they jump so high, try to say it, high, high, you can always repeat those last ones, they reached the sky, 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 and they never came back, back, back till the 4th of July. Lie, lie. Okay, hand clapping time is over. Things that start with O oh is next. O oh is very useful. We use it when we say Ost Oscar's only ostrich oiled his orange owl today. Oscar's only ostrich oiled his orange owl today. Speaking of oranges, and that is from the story from Tiptoes and Pinecone and Pepper Pot, Tom Nutcracker and Juneberry, a book by Reg Down called The Alphabet. And they discovered that an orange, this is a plastic one, <laughs> And the 
like what we drew yesterday. Oh, wow, it's like kind of the same color as the one I drew even. And I did figure out kind of where the eyes go. They kind of stick out down low on the head. Octopus. Oh, I was wondering what this was. Something that you wear. It has a strap that goes over the top, but it's also pants. It's like a bib in front and it goes all the way down. Overalls. Try to say it before me. And here is this flightless bird. Super runs fast. Ostrich. Mm -hmm. They're as tall as me. They're really big. Taller, I bet. And I do have a nice wooden O. And I have the uppercase and lowercase O. These are like those little plastic letters that people have sometimes on their refrigerators. Stuck to the refrigerator. They have little magnets in the back. These ones are missing their magnets. but So that's not very much stuff in the, in the O category. Um, but O is very useful. Why? Because it's one of the vowels, like the A and the I. And they are like the singing letters. Most of the others are sort of the, the whisper letters. But the A ah and the O, or the A. Ah. Ah, and the I are all singable, aren't they? And all the other ones are go on the sides of the vowels. Every single word in the entire English language has one of the five vowels in it. The five vowels, we haven't done them all yet. A, E, I, O, and U. Oh, I forgot about E just now. A, E, I, O, and U. And that means the only one we have not done is the, is the U. A, E, I, A. A, E, I, O. A for apple, A. E for elephant, E. So A for A, E for E. I. The letter I stands for I, I, igloo. And the letter uh, E, I, O, O stands for ah, octopus. Kind of confusing. They do make some different sounds, but um, we'll get it all figured out little by little. You already have a lot of it figured out. And even if you don't really remember or don't really know, that's okay because you've heard it a few times and you'll hear it a lot more times. And eventually it'll all just make sense. All right, so we did that, we did that. Okay, this, the words, I want to do our, our, our CBC words. So get out your main lesson book, consonant, vowel, consonants. Oh, consonant. Consonant is the, is the name that we use to describe all these other letters. So there's the vowels, the five vowels, and everything else is a consonant, consonant. So we have consonant, vowel, consonant words. Words like all the ones we've written in our main lesson book so far that start with a consonant and have a vowel in the middle and then go back and have another consonant. So those are the nice basic words that are great to start with because they're easier to figure out than the ones that get all crazy. All kinds of different spellings. I'm still trying to figure out how to spell some things. The English language is particularly difficult and I'm not the best speller in the world and so sometimes I spell stuff wrong and I just have to remember or ask somebody how to spell things. So we had the um, we had the E-T and the A-T words. Today we're doing A-N and I T. Actually, you know what? We'll do A. Here's your so here's your page. I'm gonna use the O instead of the instead of the I, I think, because we're kind of on O right now. So I'm gonna make a line down the middle of my main, main lesson book page. You're finding the very next blank main lesson book page, and you're putting a line down the center, like that. Okay? So now I will do it up on the board. Get your crayon. 
hold it with a good grip, three finger grip. And then let's uh, put, uh, let's start, in fact, let's start with the OP words. No, I think I'll start with the, with the um, AN words, AN. An. An an is its own word, like I'm going to eat an apple. Normally we say I'm going to eat a apple or a apple, if you're from England. Um, but an, we say it that way too. I'm going to eat an apple. I'm going to look at an octopus. So let's go right from the very beginning. Let's see. Let's go ahead and use B, B. I'm not sure if you know what this word is, ban. Not the best word to start with, probably, but let's go with can next, going through the alphabet, K, an. K, an, can. And then if I look through the alphabet, the next one I come to, is D, Dan, that's a name. I'm gonna skip that one for now. E is next, but then F is next. And that sounds like a word. There's my f sound. A, n, fan, fan. Whew, hot in here. Fan. Uh, g, gan, no, can, no. Jan, no, well, it's a name also, J-A-N. Can with a K, no, land, man. Oh, how about man? Mm. A, mm. Mm. and man. Um. Oh, how about a, ran? And let's go with t, 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 a, n, t, an, tan, the color. Um, and we could we could squeeze if there's if you have room. We haven't really done v yet, v, but I'll put v because van is a is another good one. If you have room. When Bam. Little introduction, little preview to the word, the letter V. All right, now we're going to do the O P. O P, ah, like ah for octopus. Ah for octopus. I did fix the eyes. I stuck a little, I sort of bulb bumped out right here, bumped it out a little bit right there, and I, I put some eyes on there. And they have these kind of sideways slitted eyes. And I added some more color. I tried to make these a little bit longer because they seemed a little skinny and, and too short to me. They still look that way to me, but that's okay. Let's go with the OP. Now, OP itself is not, a, is not a word that I know of, at least. Op. So why not start at the back of the alphabet? I have a t, t back there. T, t, op. The top. Up. And how about M for M? Ah, what we clean the floor with? Ma. Um, oh, <laughs> can do on one foot. Up. Ah. Hop. And k, ah, uh, which is kind of a nickname for a police officer. Cop, mop, lop, cop, cop, hop, cop, fop, dop, bop. Bop is kind of a word when you bop something on the head. There's that song. Little rabbit, foo, foo, I don't want to see you. Hopping through the, hopping through the, hopping through the forest. No, how does it go? 
Little rabbit foo foo, I don't want to see you. Hopping through the forest, scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. Bopping them on the head, bop them on the head. Little rabbit foo foo, I don't want to see you. Um, hopping through the and scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. There's no hopping through the forest. Little rabbit foo foo, I don't want to see you. Scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. <laughs> There's more to that song, but I'm not going to sing it right now. All right. Uh, That's all I can think of for OP right now. Some of those other words might be, lop might be a word, I suppose. And, um,. What if we switch this, um, since we have some extra space here, and write an O, and then... What if we use another last word, which I can't think would be the best one, T? Let's just go with, let's go with T. Uh, because we can do, um, let's do, let's start with dot, d, a, t, d, a, t, dot, and then we could do, um, n, a, t, not, and we could also do o, a, and that is a lot of words, and it's enough. A lot at the bottom. That is enough of those. So that takes a long time to write all those down, and we will continue uh, writing some more consonant, vowel, consonant words. Constant, consonant in the beginning, vowel in the middle, and consonant at the end. Um, you know what I would like to do? Just a little thing we can teach you now. We can leave off a sound. So in this case, if we leave off the last sound, let's leave off the beginning sound first. So this is t, a, p, three sounds, t, a, p. We're going to say top, but we're going to leave off the first sound, which is t. So we would just say a, p. And if I leave off the first sound on ma, I would just say ah. And if I leave off the H in ha, I would just say ah. And I would keep saying up, up, up if I leave off the first letter, the first sound. Ot, d, ot, n, ot. Now we could leave off the last sound. We could leave off the last letter, the last sound, and we would just have ta. If I say, say the word top, but leave off the last sound, you would say ta, ma, ha, ka, ba, da, na, and la. It's kind of silly, a little bit fun. Oh, here's one with only two sounds. A, n. What if I said leave off the first sound? You would just say n. If I said leave off the second sound, you'd say a, and leave off this. A, like when you, the doctor says open your mouth, a. Leave off this first sound of bam, and I just have an. Leave off the k in can, and I have just an. And here I have an. If I leave off the th, Leave off the m, and I've got an. Leave off the er, and I've got ran, I've got an. Leave off the tan, the t, and the tan, and just an. And lastly, leave off the v in the van, and just say an. Likewise, we can leave off. Let's start with ban this time. We can leave off the last sound and just say ba. Leave off the n in can, and I just say ca. Leave off the last sound in fan, and I just say fa. Leave off the last sound in man, take away the n at the end, and just say ma. 
I've got this word ran. If I leave off the last last sound, the last sound er at n, the last sound is n, and now I just have ra. And then if I leave off the n in tan, the last sound, I've got ta, and then va. All right, so learning how to take words apart into all these different sounds and break them apart, kind of have to, um, you can either see it in your mind, or if I say the word cop, you could say cop and leave off the k and just say op, or you can just listen to it and say, oh, there's three sounds in the word mop, m, a, p, m, a, p, mop, m, a, p, m, a, p, m, a, p, Leave off this one and just say ma. Okay? That's good for learning how to write and spell and read. So that's a big part of what we're doing here in school. Um, one, of the, one of the key things we're doing, for sure. I don't want to say it's the most important, because in some ways learning what, what's most important is being kind to others, right? Isn't that one of the most important things? All right. Now. I am going to go over to the other side of the board and we will do our form drawing and our, we're running out of time, form drawing and letter O. I think we won't do anything else in the main lesson book. Well, form drawing and letter O. Hmm. Let's do the form drawing and the letter O on one page, okay? So. This time we'll take our main lesson book page and we will draw on the next page a line that goes this way. We won't have one that goes this way. And up here we will end up doing uh, like this. This is just showing you, don't copy it yet. And then here, I'm gonna do it on the board slowly for you. I just want you to see what it's gonna look like on your page. And then here, we will have our little border. I'm being sloppy, don't be sloppy. We'll put our O right there and our little O right there. And we'll call that done for the day. Okay, oh, sorry, I went too far away. Okay, let's go do it on the blackboard right over here and then we'll finish. I'm gonna go a little bit fast through this because I don't wanna to go too late. We did a lot today. Remember this? Circle, triangle, square. Circle, triangle, what goes next? Square. Remember this one? Red, orange, yellow, green, what comes next? Blue. One, two, one, two, one, two. What comes next? One. Two, one, two. What about this one? Three, seven, three, seven, three. What comes next? Seven. Okay. Patterns from yesterday. Patterns everywhere in the world. So seeing patterns, recognizing patterns, understanding patterns, creating your own patterns, all good fun stuff to do. I feel like I understand the world better when I understand the patterns. Okay. So this is my main lesson page right here. This is my line. Down the middle of my main lesson, across the horizontal line, across the middle of my main lesson page. And I will go ahead and put a border. May as well I know I'm going too fast. We'll have to pause it and catch up. Catch up and mustard. What? Okay. Catch up, you know, catch up and catch up, catch up, catch up, catch up, catch up, and also mustard. Silly. Okay. So I'm going to draw a really faint line. Yeah, I can just do it with my finger so I can just pretend to see it there. Because I want a top and a bottom to my form drawing. And I start down here, kind of on this line, and I'm going to not zigzag straight up, 
but I am going to go that direction. I'm not going to go a straight line, but I'm going to go that direction. Like that. Try with your finger. It's tricky. I'm going to go toward the top, and I'm going to keep on curving. I'm going to curve back, curve back, curve up, 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 to the very top. Down, 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 down. Try with your finger first. Where is it going? Is it going out here? No. Is it going straight up here? No. It wants to go pretty close to straight up. The trick on this is you kind of head like you're going to go out this way, but you got to keep on turning, keep on turning, keep on turning, keep on turning, sharper and sharper. At the very top, it's very sharp turn, and then it comes back down and relaxes back again. So you come up like you're going to go out that way. But you don't. You keep on curving it up. Like the loop the loop on, I don't know, like a roller coaster. Wouldn't be quite that tight at the top, of course, but. Okay? The hard part, probably the hard part's gonna be the going at the bottom. So I think that looking at this while you're doing the bottom is not going to work too well. But this is the same idea. You start here and you head like you're going to get heading over this way at first, and then but then you change your mind and go, no, I lose my. And I go down to the bottom and back up. And I, I can try to meet this up here. This bottom part is kind of my top now. I'm not going to worry too much about that though. I'm just going to go down and keep on curving, and then come back up. If you need someone to help guide your hand, that's fine. But then they're gonna ease up, ease up, ease up, little by little, and you're gonna do it yourself. You just, you have to, you have to try. If you're not sure where to go, oh, do it with your finger. Or have your grown up say, yeah, you're gonna come over here, and then you're gonna go down there. Okay, that's that. Now the letter O. Again, down here, I'm gonna pretend I can see a line that goes across there. I can draw a faint one, or I can draw a dashed, a little bit of a dashed line, but I don't really wanna see that too much. I wanna draw my big O. I am gonna use orange for this one. And little o. Looks almost the same as it's grown up, the little one does. Pretty much the same, only just half the size. Oops, I left off, off the screen. All right, well, it's 10 o'clock, and I'm sorry I went so late to stop right now. Go to recess, or go to your next thing that you're going to do. All right, be well, do good work. See you.